Hi, I'm Christopher Ickes of Ickes Insurance Agency, an independent agency representing Westfield Insurance. Welcome to this episode of Hometown High Q. Best of luck to all the students. And remember, for all your insurance needs, give my office a call or visit us online. Now, enjoy the Westfield Insurance Hometown High Q. It's Westfield Insurance Hometown High Q with your host, Ken Rice. Battling this week are teams from Monotaw, Montour, and West Allegheny High School. Get your hands on your buzzers and let's play. Welcome everybody to Westfield Insurance Hometown High Q. I'm Ken Rice from KDK TV News. We have three teams raring to get started just for showing up they get points, 100 points for each team for walking in the door. In the opening round, it's 10 more points for every correct answer, but players, if you buzz and answer incorrectly, we deduct 10 points. Our opening round is called Start Smart. I'll tell you this much, all of these questions have to do with some type of delivery. Keep that in mind as we start with this for 10 points. From 1860 to 1861, this horseback service delivered Monitor, or excuse me, Mo that's gonna be a problem today, Montour. Pony Express. This uh, horseback service delivered mail from Missouri to California. Montour is correct with Pony Express. All right, she brought water to American soldiers at the Battle of Monmouth. Monotaw. Molly Pitcher. Molly Pitcher is right. In 1789, he smuggled plans for England's textile industry into the U.S. Nobody wants a piece of that one. Uh, Samuel Slater. All right, the horses of Diomedes were delivered by this mythical Greek strongman. Monata. Hercules. Yes. This religious leader delivered to the Mormons, delivered the Mormons safely to Utah. Nobody on that? Brigham Young. This woman delivered 300 slaves to freedom via the Underground Railroad. Monata. Harriet Tubman. Yes. Theodipides ran 26 miles to deliver the news of this uh, battle, Montour. Marathon. Uh, yeah, back in uh, 490 BC, Marathon's right. And finally, this Egyptian queen had herself wrapped in a rug, West Allegheny. Cleopatra. And delivered to Julius Caesar. Cleopatra's right. That's the end of our opening round. Westfield Insurance Hometown High Q is brought to you by Westfield Insurance. Sharing knowledge building trust. And a many thanks to Westfield Insurance, which is providing $32,000 of educational grants to this season's top teams. Our team positions randomly assigned before the start of the show in the number one position for this game. We welcome Montour High School. Nice to have you here. Tell us about yourself, TJ. Uh, I'm TJ Sauer. I'm a junior at Montour High School. I participate in Science Olympics, math team, and marching band. Very good. And Michael. Hi, I'm Michael, and I'm a senior. I'm the captain of the soccer team and earn all all state honors in volleyball. I'm the president of NHS and also participate in Science Olympiad and the math team. Fantastic. Andrew. Hi, I'm Andrew Hudawanek. I'm a junior at Montour High School. I'm on the Science Olympics team and play the trombone in the marching band. Very nice. All right, gentlemen, all the questions coming up are all for you, so you don't need to buzz. You don't need to worry about any points being deducted either, even if all you have is a guess in this round and it's incorrect, won't hurt you. It's the Hometown Q database. These are going to be 20 point questions now. Again, all for you. I'll start you off with a couple columns of words on your monitor there. What you need to do is choose a word from each column to name a part of your body also known as the patella. Kneecap. Kneecap is right. Clumsy, selfish, boastful. No one would like to be considered ungainly because that would mean you were which of these? Clumsy. Clumsy's right. Fill in the blanks and you can name what European country whose capital is Helsinki. Finland. Yes. 20 Barons Court Road, Kingsley Hall. These are addresses in London, but they were also residences of what leader of India's independence movement, a man later called Mahatma? Gandhi. Yes. And finally, from on tour, a quote, a crooked gun or other perverted machine. Thomas Jefferson wrote this nasty description of what vice president who killed Alexander Hamilton in a duel? 
Aaron Burr. You got it. Nice job, Montour. No trouble at all with those. You're up to 220 points in very good shape. In the number two position, we welcome West Allegheny High School. Nice to have you here. Go ahead and tell us about yourself. I'm Needy Bate. I'm a senior at West Allegheny High School. I'm an officer of Key Club and NHS, and I'm also involved in my youth group and Indian classical and folk dance. Excellent. Go ahead. Hello, my name is Robbie Petrick. I'm a senior at West Allegheny High School. I'm a four-year member of Key Club and FBLA. I play baseball, and I'm in the National Honor Society. Great. And Andrew? I'm, I'm Andrew. I'm a senior at West Allegheny. Um, I'm an officer of FBLA, NHS, and Key Club, and I'm involved in show choir, marching band, and stage crew. Great. All right, here come your 20-point database questions now, West Allegheny. Take a look at your monitor. A couple columns of words for you. Pick a word from each column and name what desolate California region that's the lowest point in the United States. Death Valley. Right. Green, barren, snow-covered. A poet who writes about verdant fields might also have used which of these words to describe them? Green. Yes. The word rap might suggest music, but if you fill in these blanks correctly, you'll identify what type of book that describes the life of an individual as told by someone else. Biography. Biography, yes. Sean Brun Palace, Concierge, or uh, uh, the, the second palace. Here you see the birthplace and the final resident, I'm not good with French, final residence of what tragic French queen whose last destination in 1793 was the guillotine. Marie Antoinette. And finally for West A, this quote, she would rather light a candle than curse the darkness. This was part of a memorial tribute to a 20th century first lady whose husband was the only president elected to four terms in office. Eleanor Roosevelt. You got it. All right, nice job, West Allegheny. You're up to 190 points. And finally, Monita over there in the number three position. Welcome, Monita. Tell us about yourself. Uh, hello, I'm Roman Weingartner. I'm a sophomore at Monita High School. I'm involved in academic decathlon and the marching band. Excellent. Tim. I'm Timothy Shear. I'm a junior at Monita. I'm involved in academic decathlon and cross country. Very nice. And Clarissa. Hi, my name is Clarissa Kimmy. I'm a junior at Monita. I'm an academic decathlon. I'm the president of the mentoring group. I'm an NHS and track. Great. All right, you ready for your 20-point database questions? Because we're ready for you. Take a look at your monitor. More columns, more words. Pick one word from each column and name a phrase that defines a sonnet. 14 lines. That's it, yeah. Regressive, convoluted, incendiary. If someone gave you an explanation that was complicated, tangled, you'd best describe it with which of these words? Convoluted. Yeah. Since he was important in the age of exploration, it's fitting that the word age appears within the name of what Portuguese sailor whose expedition was the first to circle the earth? Magellan. Ferdinand Magellan, yes. West Hartford, Sharon. These Connecticut towns were the birthplace and boyhood home of what 18th to 19th century scholar who compiled the first major American dictionary. Webster. Noah Webster, yep. And finally for Monita, this quote, the earth of England is in my hands. As he tripped and fell to the ground, these words were uttered by what man who actually did win the earth of England at the Battle of Hastings in 1066? William the Conqueror. You got it. Well done, Monita. And you're up to 230 points. That puts you in the lead, but barely. Good close game so far. We'll take a break. Come back with more Hometown High Q. Just a moment. This week's judge from Ickes Insurance and Financial Services, a partner of Westfield Insurance, Chris Ickes. And welcome back to High Q. Everybody looking good. Here's how the scores look at the moment. Montour with 220 points. 190 for West Allegheny and Monito with a 10 point lead to 230. In this round, all the questions are gonna have to do with pictures in your monitors. Uh, 10 point questions, buzz in for a chance to answer. Remember, if you answer incorrectly in this round, we do deduct points. It's the hometown high Q picks file. 
We'll start you off with this. This green mineral is pentlandite. It's a major source of what metallic element whose chem chemical symbol is Ni? Montour. Nickel. Yes. This is a nighttime view of what European city? The capital of the Czech Republic. Monotov. Prague. Yes. A type of round stained glass window such as this one at the National Cathedral is given the name of what flower? The official West Allegheny. Rose. The official flower of the United States. That's the rose window. Yes. What is the greatest common divisor for this group of numbers? Monotov. 49. 7 squared equals 49. You got it. Photographed in 1895, this is what English author who wrote more than 100 books, including The Time Machine and Montour. Wells. Also wrote The War of the Worlds. H.G. Wells is right. Chlorophyll is essential to what process in which plants Montour? Photosynthesis. Which plants utilize sunlight to manufacture carbohydrates from water and carbon dioxide. Photosynthesis is right. This cedar tree pictured on this flag is a traditional symbol of what Mideast Monotov? Rorschach test. What Mideast nation whose capital is Beirut? That is Lebanon. And finally in the pix file, extinct since the early 20th century, this crested pigeon was native to what group of Pacific Islands whose name recalls a wise biblical king? Montour. Solomon. Solomon Islands is right. And now our Westfield Insurance Sharing Knowledge Building Trust Question of the Week.